Hi, Heather here from Creative Kiwi. This video is for you if you've never ever made an in the hoop toy before. Uh, this, you want to show you how easy it is with just a few pe couple of pieces of fleece, a little bit of batting and a little bit of hand sewing at the end. How you can make this really cute little Ted that goes perfectly for Dorena's in the hoop sleeping bag. I think just about the time that it would take for me to do this video, you could probably make your own little Ted. Let's get started. Like all our designs, the first thing you do is hoop your uh, stabiliser and stitch the first colour, which is the outline. Then, or catching up to the video now, you place one piece of fleece over that guideline and stitch out colour two. This teddy's got a different colour fabric for his nose, so with this third colour is your outline. Here we go, putting the fabric on. You can leave this out. You could just leave the teddy one colour and still have your decorative stitch, but just not have the two different colours if you like. Now we're going to cut away the excess fabric. Now I used um, another lot of monkey on this one, and it was really fluffy. I hope you don't see it too much on the video, but yeah, I'm glad I didn't make the whole teddy out of that. Here I am putting uh, Solvi over the entire design. Now, yeah, Solvi is optional, but when you're using fleece, it is much better to have uh, some form of top up to make your stitches look much better. What I've done here is I've actually, let's say, put a piece of Solvi over the entire piece, gone back to colour one and stitched at the outline. What you can do is just put little bits of sewing over the bits as you're sewing them. Now we're just on to stitching out the design of the teddy's face. We've got the eyes, the ears, the nose and the hearts. Really simple. Now all we need to do is add the backing and it's as simple as adding another piece of fleece. So the design will stitch around twice. Does leave a gap at the um, the leg, just so that you've got a way of tuning your teddy. Now this small little teddy that we've made um, we've made deliberately to fit the five by seven um, sleeping bag that um, Darina makes. So he is quite tiny. So probably not the easiest to turn inside out, but you can do it. First thing to do here, obviously, is um, probably take off the solvey, actually, and you can rip away your tear-away stabiliser. Then you're just cutting around the edges, probably about a quarter of an inch. Probably, I made him a wee bit less because he's a little teed. But the main thing to do there is make sure that you do clip into those corners. That helps you to turn to the out properly. Now, I did video myself actually turning teed, but... Um, all you can see is my hand, so it's not very helpful for anybody. I've found using a pencil, um, just getting in there and poking at the edges. And I think Dorena uses a pen, so the similar idea. I've heard of people using chopsticks. Here you go, that was the end. There's Ted. All you have to do now is add some stuffing and then hand stitch the little um, the leg shut. And that's it. So simple. Now I mentioned before um, the reason we made this little Ted was to go with Dorena's really, really cute idea of using our um, in the hoop quilted bag as um, little doll sleeping bags. When she shared this idea on the group, uh, uh, being really, really popular and a lot of people were asking where to get the, the wee toys from. So we've made it with this wee freebie so that you have got a wee toy to add to that. But as you can see, Dorena um, has used toys from all over. And you can probably find some, um, you know, in your kids' bedrooms or grandkids' bedrooms. Uh, little children would really love them. And I, I have heard um, quite a few conversations about they would be lovely redesigns re or gifts to give for, um, like, kids in need and things like that at Christmas time. We've shared Darina's instructions on how she adapted the quilt bag design to make the little um, in the hoop sleeping bag. Uh, the details are on the instructions that are included with your TD um, design file. So have a go. Um, whether or not you make a sleeping bag makes no difference, but I hope you enjoy making the in the TD.
Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now. Thanks for watching the video. I hope this gives any of you newbies um, the confidence to go and make yourself a little in the hoop uh, toy because they really, really are easy. Um, the bigger sizes are probably easier because you can turn them easier. Um, but certainly give the wee TV a go and then you're onwards and upwards to different things. Thank you. Bye.